Hi folks, uh, Pedestrian Pete here, and I'm with my good friend Jeff Speck. Jeff, Old friend. how are we going to make a Houston a walkable city? That's what Pedestrian Pete's all about. Well, as you know, I focus mostly on downtown areas. I think the biggest, downtown. the biggest potential for Houston is the downtown of Houston, uh, which is quite large, as you know. Um, I know it's been talked about before, but I hope I brought more information that will give you more conviction about, not you personally, but the city more conviction about the benefits of a one-way to two-way reversion of many of yeah, the we downtown streets. we got to reverse the uh, one-way streets. Don't reverse them in the opposite right, direction. Convert them. <laughs> convert them, yes. Um, I think that the easiest win to have the biggest impact in your downtown would be to pick a certain core that has the most potential for attracting more pedestrians and for that core to revert the one-way system back to two-way. Mm -hmm. well, Additionally, you, know, you have a lot of lanes that are more than 10 feet wide, and we all know a 10-foot lane is a perfectly wide urban lane. Um, and you have a lot of streets that, where the parking has been scraped off the curb, so the sidewalks don't feel safe because there's no barrier of steel between the moving vehicles and the sidewalk. So looking at the network, first in, from the two-way perspective, but then looking at, at every individual street, saying where are the lanes too wide, where's the parking missing? And the most important question to ask is where do we have a mismatch between supply and demand? Where do we have fewer trips per day in a street than the number of lanes of that street would suggest the street should Well, I, I would say most of those streets downtown, they're extra wide. Uh, even the parking lanes are extra wide. Yeah. Uh, nine, a lot of the parking lanes ten. are driving lanes that people just park in. Yeah. And, uh, we got a lot of excess capacity. Yeah. But we're so short on parking spaces. No, you're not. We're not? You're not short on parking spaces. Downtown? You're not short on parking spaces. You're short on uh, on street parking spaces. Oh, that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah. On street parking yeah, spaces. You've, yeah. You're probably the most parked downtown in America. It's yeah, certainly yeah. one of the highest. A lot of empty um, garages. But there's, there's a, a, a lot of downtown streets don't have that really essential barrier of parking between, particularly when your streets are that wide, between the speeding vehicles and the edge of the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. We've got pretty good sidewalks. Wide yeah, sidewalks. and pretty good trees in many of, the, many of the locations. You know where they aren't, but there's the typical Houston street has better trees than the typical American city. Well, I just uh, want to say uh, thank you, Jeff, for coming to Houston. Uh, just say briefly who you are. Oh, I'm Jeff Speck. I'm a city planner. I'm based in Washington, D.C., and I wrote a book called Walkable City that I hope you'll read. Great book. I should have it here to show. And, uh, you know, I've been thinking, uh, uh, we drive and drive and drive. There's nobody out there to meet. But the city comes alive when you start walking on the street. But even though the sidewalks are bare, I'll keep walking and never despair. I'll never stop using my feet because my name is... Pedestrian Pete. You got it, man. <laughs>